Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I really want to talk about the top blockchain ETFs. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you get anything in value, hit that like button and subscribe. If you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and ask them down in the comments. And if you guys want to learn more about investing in the stock market, go ahead and check out my course and you guys can use promo code DIVIDENDS to get 50% off. We talk about fundamental technical analysis, how to find undervalued stock. We talk about taxes, dividends, REITs. We pretty much talk about it all. I'll put a link to that down below. So check it out. So now roll the intro. Let's go. Bam. So now me personally, I really believe blockchain carries a ton of long-term potential. So how can you invest in blockchain but still be diversified? So you need to invest in ETFs that have blockchain holdings. So that's pretty much what it is. So now let's look at the tops. Alrighty guys, so the very first blockchain ETF that I think carries a ton of long-term potential is ticker symbol BLOK. You guys can see that this has a beautiful upper trend, really likes to use this 200 moving average line as some overall support. You guys can see it's used it, tapped it multiple times and we get buying pressure. The thing about this one is we've had a ton of sell-off in blockchain over the past couple of weeks. So pretty much you're buying this ETF at a pretty solid discount. Not to mention the returns are crazy. The one year performance is right around 40% and this has a decent expense ratio coming in at around 0.71, which is a little expensive if you compare it to the S&P 500, but this has outperformed the S&P 500. So pretty much you pay a little more in the expense ratio, but your returns are uh, better here. There is a little dividend of around 66 cents or around 1.3% yield, which is honestly pretty decent. But now let's look at the holdings here. So looking at the holdings here, you guys can see a lot of the money goes into ticker symbol CAN, which is an overall blockchain company. Second one here is MicroStrategy. Then we have ticker symbol GLXY, Galaxy Digital Holdings here. And you guys can see all of these are pretty much blockchain companies in this ETF here, which is phenomenal. So you're still exposed to blockchain, but you're not heavily invested and you're still diversified compounding your money with dividends it's fantastic so now the second blockchain etf that i want to talk about is ticker symbol b l c n here you guys can see that this has a nice upward trend really hasn't grown as fast as b l o k but it's very very similar with a nice solid upward trend and looking at the holdings the holdings are pretty decent very very similar you guys can see the top holding is c a n then the same Galaxy Digital Holdings and a lot of other ones in here. We have Square, JP Morgan. A lot of these companies that are in this uh, ETF are companies that are either investing in crypto or already have invested in crypto, which is phenomenal because Square has bought around a billion dollars or so, but you, you, you know that they are heavily invested because of the cash app that Square owns and you can actually buy and sell Bitcoin on that platform. So it's pretty much like investing in the overall blockchain uh, sector. So now the expense ratio for this one is a lot more affordable coming in at around 0.53. So it still is a little higher, but overall the performance is way, way better. So the performance for this is going to be right around 14.3%, which is a little sluggish if you do compare it to BLOK, but it's still actually very, very strong. Similar thing, it sold off over the past weeks, but it's like buying on a discount. That's the way you have to look at it. And now another beautiful thing about this is yes, you do get paid a dividend of right around 10 cents a year. So you can start compounding your money. That's a dividend yield at around 0.5%. It's nothing big, but it's better than nothing. You know, it's really nice to actually see a lot of these blockchain companies pay dividends because it's rare to be honest, because you would think a lot of these growth stocks would want to use that money, reinvest it into the business and grow it that way. That's why pretty much companies like Amazon doesn't have a dividend. Google doesn't have a dividend. A lot of those companies, because they use the money, reinvest it back into the business. So now the third ETF that I want to talk about is ticker symbol LEGR here. So you guys can see that this one does have a nice solid upward trend, a little more volatile. You guys can see it's gone up and down at pretty rapid rates, but over the past year or so, we've had a nice solid upward trend with the year to date right around 4%, which isn't very good. But this is a very, very futuristic and long term investment. So you're going to have years that it's going to be a little sluggish, but that's really nothing you guys should be worried about, to be honest. 
So now the holdings for this ETF are very, very strong. You guys can see we have Turk symbol B. IDU, which is another fantastic company that is invested heavily into uh, crypto and blockchain. We have a lot of companies that are highly invested in tech and other blockchain sectors, which is really, really cool to see that. But the company does not move as much if you compare it to other ETFs. So this is going to be right around a 5 out of 10. The reason why I say that is because there's better opportunity somewhere else. But if you guys still want to invest into blockchain, this would still be a solid uh, ETF to invest in here. So now the last and final ETF that I do want to talk about is ticker symbol K-O-I-N here. So you guys can see that this does have a nice solid upward trend. You guys can see it sold off over the past couple of weeks. So it's pretty much like buying this ETF at a pretty solid discount. But now let's actually look at the holdings here. The holdings for this are very, very similar to a lot of other ones. So the holdings for this ETF, we do have BIDU, which is similar to the other one. We have PayPal. PayPal is heavily invested in crypto and blockchain. We have Intel, NVIDIA, Microsoft, Amazon, Salesforce, MasterCard, Visa. So this one honestly is a good solid uh, blue chip ETF that have companies that are heavily invested in crypto. One thing that I am a little surprised is Tesla is not on there because they did invest $1.5 billion into the overall uh, crypto market, which is fantastic. But this ETF here, you guys can see it's sold off. Buying on a discount, that's the way you have to think of this. But now the average uh, expense ratio is going to be right around 0 0.5, which is pretty high if you compare it to the S&P 500. But the year-to-date return is very strong, coming in at around 42%, which is fantastic. Three-year performance is right around 60%. So all of these ETFs are fantastic investments to invest in blockchain, and I highly recommend them. So that is it, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions or concerns, ask them down in the comments. And don't forget to check out my course, and we'll see you later.